morning everybody and welcome back to the channel if you have not already please hit the like and subscribe ring that little bell you get notifications of my videos whenever i release them i'm trying to do one a week at the moment um, so we'll see how that goes but um today we are going to be doing a little bit more on the trailer rebuild <coughs> um so yeah um if you haven't already just have a look back if you want to get up to speed on oh, Calgary, um, if you want to get up to speed on what we're doing, we are, I, I, I should say, I'm doing a bit of a refurb rebuild on an old tipping trailer that I got. So it's like an old three or four ton tipping trailer. So um, as you can see in previous videos, we made a start on it. And in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the new towing eye so if you want to see how we got to where we are go back and have a look at the previous videos the last video was a video about how i went about turning the chassis over to make it easier to get to the towing eye to cut it off and weld the new one back on and um, so that's what we're going to be doing today and then i think in the one after this what we're going to be doing is taking off the headboard and putting our brackets in for the removable trailer posts which are going to hold the headboard the sides and the tailgate on and the idea behind that is i obviously i want it as a normal tipping trailer but i also want it to be a proper flatbed as well for them less than ideal size loads so I just want the trailer posts to come out really and that's it so I'm gonna go about doing it myself because I don't know how many of the commercially available ones are like it and what I'm going for is the kind of age period that is gonna fit in with both the Forza Power Major and is going to fit in with the old grey Fergie too so predominantly that's going to be a wooden side board trailer um, so yeah we're going to do that and hopefully it will turn out nice so I hope you enjoyed the video like I say if you like it give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel lots more to do if you don't like it give us a thumbs down and let us know in the comments why you don't like it if anything you want me to explain in more detail let us know and um, we'll try and accommodate that for you too hope you enjoyed the video hello everybody and I'm super excited today. The time has finally come. I'm going to be starting on my trailer. Okay, so as we can see, that is the welding that was done previously by somebody. We can see the quantity of damage there on the hook. It is... Yeah, it's not great, is it? So what we need to do is we're going to cut this off and <clears throat> weld the new one on. We've cut this off as well at the same time. We can see that the chassis is gonna have to sit on that bit of metal probably or a bit of wood just to make sure that it doesn't twist while we're working. But one side is higher at the back and it shouldn't really affect it because there's no actual structural weight on this. It's all on the rest of it so yeah that is the quality of the welding this side to be fair is a lot lot better um they don't put anything really at the back uh yeah so yeah i'm gonna cut that off and take the skid off as well you can see where it was hitting on the ground with the t20 pulling it um Looks like the chassis rail has possibly spread slightly, I would say, or yeah, well, that's just the state of that. So we can get that straight back in. Um, we're going to cut that piece out of there and put a new piece in there just to keep the crap out. 
or we might put some strengthening bars across which will let us have access to better clean it but yeah overall it's um, pretty solid so what's happened now we've got a slight change of plan um, <clears throat> the big grinder the 9 inch is out on site with somebody else so I didn't know about that at the time nobody told me that the other person had taken it which is very disappointing um, so yeah I'm just gonna carry on with a four and a half inch Well, that took some getting off. You know what they say? Never judge a book by its cover. Well, that's my thumb. And that's how much weld they had in there, so... It may have not looked pretty from the outside. But, as you can see from that, there's no contamination in there, really. A little bit there where there's a hole, but by oh heck, it was a uh, yeah, it's welded on there pretty well. We can see where it's been gouged here in the past, where it's been changed. I will build that back up a bit with fresh metal, unless my replacement ring is longer. Um, I'm gonna cut this off out the way now and give it a clean out in there as well I guess and yeah it was um, definitely on there so what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to chamfer the edge of the towing eye in so I've got dwell angle to fill in with weld again same sort of thing as that get plenty of contact area on it and <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to weld the inside, I'm probably not. I'll probably just absolutely smother it in paint or seal or something to keep the water out. But I'm going to give it a clean up now with the grinding wheel and we'll get ready for prep. But first things first, to take that off. Okay, so we have got it all ground back up and clean now. What I'm going to do is welding these little bits here just to put a little bit of strength back in it um, just polish them back flat got the new towing eye there to weld on so what I'm going to have to do is chamfer these edges which will allow me to get the dwell angle to get the weld penetrated side easier we're going to clamp it all on in place and what we'll do is get some tack welds on it and then we will preheat it with the oxycetylene and then start firing some lungs in so 
I'm thinking that I might make it um, might arc it not too sure yet I guess the big factor is going to be the weather um, because I'm not using flex cord wire and it is outside in the elements if it is windy I won't be able to use a MIG so it will then have to be the arc welder but that is for another day it is now tidy up time and getting ready for the weekend. Woo! Right, so what do we have? We have the new toe and eye with the dwell angle ground onto it now for relief to do the fillet weld. It is currently sitting in the middle. We have got some Murex 3.2 mil rods. We're going to use the oxyacetylene to preheat the toe and eye so that it doesn't crack the weld because it's going to take a lot of heat out of it too quickly if we don't and get some good runs in there so it's going to be interesting to see how many rods this is going to use to do and we need to get something to keep the wind off just so it doesn't take too much heat out of it too quickly and now we can get cracking So the aim is to now try and get that up to about 200 degrees Celsius. So we use oxycetylene for that. And hopefully that will prevent the world from cracking. okay for what we want so we can now start the welding the welding will keep the heat in which will be good and hopefully we'll get some good results
yesterday, 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 yesterday. Today's another day, new beginning, new challenges. Yesterday we got the toe and I kind of welded on, uh, but yeah, it's um, it's not falling off. Hopefully. And um, what have I done? We I cut through under here on the underside. Um, ready to take that out because it's only been welded in the top and nothing really underneath apart from on the one side because yeah somebody didn't make a crap bracket um, I'm gonna cut all this tinny crap out there's a somewhere here there's a plate underneath um, so we need to be careful of that we've got the chassis turned over now we're ready to line it back up it is not too bad what i'm going to do is pop it on the jack and then that'll bring it over this way a bit and give me a bit more final control over the height <laughs> to do something with new pins and that gonna be bush it um, get some collars I think to kind of fit in here make it sort of pin locates on here and then this will actually twist on the pin through the bush put a grease nipple on it hopefully make it a bit more user-friendly and serviceable the hydraulic cylinder we're not going to touch for now the next job is to, we want to make the trailer look a bit prettier um, and usable. Need to investigate what's going on with the corrosion between there, try and get some fat out, stop that exploding too much, whether we need to, I'm going to probably have to cut the weld off the end and then get a really thin chisel in there to knock all the rust out and then weld it back on. Um, we don't want that getting any worse. A lot of people will probably say, why don't you just buy a new channel line, but you know, you look down it and <clears throat> the trailer's pretty straight. It's not rotten, it's just got some corrosion between the metalwork. So the next thing to do is start addressing these issues here. Um, I did that side already. We can, as long as the wind keeps down today, we can get the MIG out and get that welded up. Um, the wire wheel on here, clean these bits of rust off again, G clamp on here, pull it down. The floor is a bit thin in places but you know there's a heck of a lot of metal on it still. Good chunk of material so I'm not concerned about that and for what we want it's going to be more than adequate. So I think the next thing to do is get these cleaned up, get that pulled down, get that on there, that's one job done. Then we can start Measuring up where the hinges are, cut them hinges off, put some new hinges on. Yeah. Look at that, it served its purpose, but yeah, not happy with it. Um, now we're gonna cut the headboard off. I think somewhere there's a little manufacturer's plate on it from the person that made it, but it's had like this tin on it, and yeah, it's seen better days, it really has. Really has seen better days. Um, sure, it's a guy you're riffing or something that made it, but yeah, um, like I say, it's, that bit there is not too bad. That cross member there needs doing. What else have we got? It's only them two on this side and the bit on the back, so uh, I mean, once you get a good load in here. Give that, just have to give that a bang with the hammer just to make sure there's no metal loose on it so hopefully it'll be okay get these cut off and changed and then we'll get the hinges made then for the new sides so that is the plan <laughs> 